Hotter sequence is a rare disorder that's sometimes called oligohydramnio sequence. A term that helps define it because oligo means low and hydramnios means amniotic fluid. So in powder sequence, there's basically very little amniotic fluid, and this makes the uterus a pretty hostile place for the fetus to grow. Typically, around the 20th week of gestation, the kidneys, ureters, and urethra develop and start producing and excreting urine, and this urine becomes the major source of amniotic fluid. Various conditions like renal agenesis which is when one or both of the kidneys are missing, or atresia of the ureter or urethra, which is where those parts of the urinary tract are obstructed, can lead to an inability to produce or excrete urine, and therefore leads to oligohydramnios. Other common causes can include amniotic rupture, which is the leakage of amniotic fluid, or uteroplacental insufficiency, which is where there's low blood flow from the placenta meaning the fetal organs, which includes the fetal kidneys, see less blood flow, which in turn leads to decreased urine production. When there's very little amniotic fluid, a couple things happen as a result. First, amniotic fluid's crucial for the development of the fetal lungs, by both helping the airways physically stretch out, as well as contributing amino acids, like proline, which helps with the formation of connective tissue and collagen in the lungs. With less amniotic fluid though, there's pulmonary hypoplasia. Hypo means under and plasia means formation, so the lungs basically remain underdeveloped. Not only that though, with less amniotic fluid, there's less space in the amniotic sac, and so the fetus is literally compressed into a smaller space, which causes developmental abnormalities like a flattened face, wrinkly skin, widely separated eyes with epicanthal folds, low set ears, as well as limb abnormalities, like clubbed feet. Potter sequence usually affects boys, since they have a higher rate of urinary tract obstruction anomalies, like posterior urethral valves. Diagnosis of Potter sequence is usually done with ultrasound during the second trimester of pregnancy. Unfortunately though, by the time this condition is diagnosed, the syndrome is usually very advanced and most cases result in a stillbirth which is the delivery of a fetus that's already died. When babies do survive, the pulmonary hypoplasia leads to severe respiratory problems, which often leads to death shortly after birth. All right, as a quick recap, Potter sequence is an often fatal condition that primarily affects newborn males, and it's caused by oligohydramnios, which is low or absent amniotic fluid. Potter itself is actually a mnemonic, and it stands for pulmonary hypoplasia, oligohydramnios, twisted skin for the wrinkles, twisted face, extremity deformities, and renal agenesis. Thanks for watching. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.